let's start. I'm just gonna lift that up. I have a mug. It's still a little leather hard, so it'll still kind of accept the glaze. I'm gonna start by putting down a white slip first. So I know that that underglaze has a really nice white canvas to start from. And this slip is Loafer's Glory with a little bit of deflocculant in it. It's what we carry in the studio. Just our regular, like, decorating slip at Ebor. So I'm going to take a little bit of that bright red first on just a little tile because I want that bright red at the very top. It'll start to blend. And then I'm going to let this dry. So I want that red, that top part to be pretty red. And then I'll just fan it down until it just the, there's nothing left on the brush. So you start to get a little bit of a color gradient. So on my palette I have a little bit of the yellow, just a regular yellow, and I'm going to mix just a little bit of it to kind of make that yellowy, that bright orange. If you have orange, go for it. But I don't have orange, so I'm going to make my own using that yellow. There's a little bit of that red color still in my brush. I kind of don't really care because I want it to kind of blend. Our surface is dried and I am going to pick up some black on my brush and just wiggle around just kind of jump up and down to make that mountain and say if I don't like something here this looks kind of weird I can come in, make it look a little bit more mountainy. More jagged instead of so perfect. But I love Your underglaze to be fluid enough. A lot of times when we get it out of the jar it's sometimes a little bit too thick but we also don't want it too runny. If you do water your glazes down, your underglaze down, remember you're gonna have to do a couple extra coats to make sure 
once it fires, it shows all the way through. Sometimes when we put our underglaze on and then we fire it, it looks a little pale. It's because we didn't get enough coats on it. So always be sure you want to read the under, the under, each underglaze has a different layer quality that you need to have on there. Some say three, some say two. There we go. Nice little silhouette. All right, so we're gonna let our black underglaze dry and then we'll come back and we'll apply our little trees. All right, so our black underglaze has dried and I've made little trees with our designer liner. And I'm gonna have a damp sponge. I don't want it to be too, too wet because when I push my sponge onto my, uh, my piece here, I don't want my sponge to smudge or mess up what I've already got going on. A lot of times when we do our underglaze transfers, we put slip on and then transfer it. So on this one, we're going to actually just go ahead and use, um, and use water as plain water as our little bit of a transfer. I am going to take and kind of pre dampen just lightly on that outside, not enough to like smush it or anything, but just enough. So it's kind of translucent. Then I'm going to find a spot where I like it and I'm going to place it down and I'm going to stick it on and then I'm just going to hold it there just like a temporary tattoo. And then once I can tell that it is not squishy we don't want it to squish out like the center of a cookie we're gonna go ahead and lightly burnish from the inside out never try to just go from the top unless you hold it down there we go and now we're gonna lightly peel this up We're going to peel slow so if it doesn't come off, we can figure out a way to lay it back down. And there we go. So it lifted up a little bit of that underglaze there. We can go back and fix that. So that's not a big, a big to do. So I've got my next one. I'm going to lay it down. I know where I like it. Hold it down just like a temporary tattoo. Burnish. And then peel it off. Like I said, if there's little spots, like right in here, that kind of didn't come through, we can always go back and kind of fix that up a little bit. No big deal. So we've got all the trees on and I'm going to go back in and kind of touch up some of the spots. So I'm in the garage and of course like it's the beginning of May so all the bugs are out and about and when you fling a bug away you end up with that. <laughs> you get a little smudge spot. So let's talk about fixing that little smudge spot. I still have a little bit of that red left. I'm going to clean my brush out really good because I switched to the black 
you want to make sure that that doesn't transfer so I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab just a little bit of that towards the center so the next one I'll show you guys how to make the trees we'll do that on the next video see you guys later